Welcome guys, I made this quick video especially for beginner and new users to Photoshop to show quick and easy methods to um, convert color images into black and white. I'll show you six methods, uh, most of all will be non-destructive except for one. I will explain to you what that means during the course of this video. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos I'll be putting out. So the first method, and also you would need to have the adjustment layers um, panel open because that's where all most of that uh, conversion will happen. So the first um, method is using the black and white adjustment layer. Now, as you can see, it comes with its own set of uh, presets. You can use that, or you can use the slider to enhance those presets. And if you're feeling really lucky, you can click on auto, and that'll take you, um, that'll adjust it for you automatically. Now, this is a non-destructive way because it created its own layer and didn't affect the, uh, the, uh, the main image or the main layer. I can choose to hide it, or I can choose to delete that layer, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it there. The next method is a more simple method, it's using the Huey Satch and all you do is bring down the saturation. Um, you can't adjust much in this, you can't even adjust the Hueys because the color has been taken away. The only thing you can adjust is uh, the, the brightness and the darkness. And this again is um, a non-destructive way because it created its own layer. Method 3 is using the channel mixer and I'm going to click on the monochrome and then again you can use the um, presets and the, and the sliders to adjust those presets. Also this is a, a non-destructive way because it created its own layer. Method 4 is uh, using the color lookup. This is a very simple one. Um, there's only one adjustment really and that's this using the gray tone. There's nothing you can adjust with it or any sliders to adjust it further. That's this is one um, I guess preset that you can use. And again this one is also non-destructive because it created its own layer. Method 5 is using uh, the gradient map. Now all you have to do, if you, if, if you see this, you can click into the colors here and set it to uh, black and white. You can um, double click on the color stop here and set this to black. And this one here to white. That's it there. Just click OK. You can see it's converted to black and white. Another way, if you find that previous method, you just click on the reverse to reverse the, the look. With this one again, uh, there is no adjustments or no presets or no sliders to enhance it further. And this one is also a non-destructive because it created its own map. Oh, sorry, its own uh, layer. Now the next method, the sixth method, is the more is the destructive method. Let me first show you what, how how to uh, to uh, to set it. So it's image mode grayscale, and now it's going to flatten and remove everything. And as you can see, it affected the the main image layer, and there's no layer for it, uh, like no separate layer for it. So after editing, if you decide you don't like it, you unfortunately have to go back uh, to the color image. That's it guys, I hope this helped, I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to uh, comment below and let us know how you convert your color images to black and white in Photoshop. Um, also, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And again, if, um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos. Um, again, I look forward to seeing you guys again in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching.